Hello, this is Tamisha with Educational Tutoring Centers with an arithmetic reasoning problem uh, to help a student to prepare for the ads that battery. The question says the deli in the local supermarket sells two pounds of smoked deli turkey breast for $13.98. What would the cost of a five ounce portion? What would be the cost of a five ounce portion? Okay, there's a few ways that you could do this if you were in the store. One, you could pull out your calculator, start punching some numbers um, to get your cost. Another way you could do it is to take out a pad of paper, write everything out, and try to solve for it. Or you could just do some estimating in your head to get a rough number <clears throat> for the um, cost of that five ounce portion. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you two of the methods. Two as opposed to three because you're not able to use the calculator on your um, battery of test. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is show you the, the long cut, and then I'll show you the short cut. Um, the long cut is to just to do all the math, write it all out, and, um, and then the short cut will be doing the estimating in your head. So when I look at this problem, it says that the local supermarket is selling this um, two pounds for $13.98. Well, um, usually when you're in the store, you're not going to see something at a two pound cost. You're going to see that as unit cost, which is what it costs for one pound. So the first thing we're going to do is do some division to find out what one pound costs. Okay, so in order to do this division, I'm looking to see how many times can 2 go into uh, 13 without going over, and it will go 6 times, and that is 2 times 6 is 12. Then we do the operation of subtraction because division and subtraction are related. They both reduce a number, um, and that's how you do the um, this little wrong or short division. So I'm going to subtract. This decimal point you bring straight up, okay? The only time you move decimals is if this number out here is not a whole number and that it's a decimal number. And then I'll bring my next number down. So 2 goes into 19, uh, 9 times without going over, 2 times 9 is 18, and I'll subtract again. And that's 1, and I bring down my next number, and 2 goes into 18 9 times. So our unit cost is $6.99, so that's $6.99 per pound. Now the question doesn't ask us how much does one pound cost, it doesn't ask us how, mu how much five pounds cost, it asks us how much five ounces cost. So we would need to know how to make the conversion from uh, pounds to ounces. Well, we just need to know and uh, remember, because you're not going to be given a formula sheet, that 16 ounces is equivalent to one pound okay all right so we're not wanting um, a full 16 ounces we only want five ounces so we'll need to get again to the unit cost by dividing to find out how much uh, one ounce would cost so here we'll take 16 into 699 so that we can divide it down to its unit cost and find out how much one ounce costs Again, we'll bring that decimal straight up, and I'm going to do four. And the reason why I'm, and as far as choosing these numbers, you can come off to the side and try a number, like if you wanted to try um, 16 times five. Um, if you went over it, then you come down a number and you try four. Or if you try three first, then it was too small. And you know it's too small if there's more than six, it's 16 or more left. Um, then you go up to the next number. Um, but I'm doing my estimating right here within my division problem. If I'm off, I'll just erase and choose a different number. Um, but the reason why I did 4 is because I'm thinking about compatible numbers. And if I had 15 and I took 15 and I multiplied it by 2, <clears throat> I would get 30. So if 15 times 2 is 30... Then times 15 times 4 should be 60. And that gets me pretty close because 9 would be the only thing left over. And 9 is smaller than the 16. So I know I'm good. Um, so here 24. 
and 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 more is 6, and then I subtract again, bring down my the difference, and bring down the next number. Okay, now when I did 4, I got 64. 4 times 16 was 64. Now I'm working with 59. 59 is just a little bit smaller than 64, so I'm going to try 3 this time. And so I get rid of that too from the last calculations. And 3 times 6 is 18. And 3 times 1 is 3 plus that 1 is 4. And I subtract. So that's 11. Um, and when you're working with decimals, you're um, not going to have a remainder. So I can't say I have 43 cents remainder 11. You can't do that. Um, so what you do is you add another 0 and then you bring it down. Okay, because any number of zeros added to the end of this decimal number will not change its value. It just changes its appearance, and it would change the way you say the name, but the value is still the same. So I would bring that down there. And the other thing that I, I reason why I know not to just stop here, although if you did stop here, and with it being a multiple choice uh, problem, you still would get pretty close to your answer. Uh, but the reason why I'm not stopping here is because I'm showing you all the steps. And uh, when you're dealing with money, um, you only need two places after your decimal. And uh, with money, um, you may be rounding this last digit, but you won't know until you find out what this third digit is. And that's why I'm going on. Okay, so um, 16 times 4 was 64. If I doubled that and made it 8, it would be 120, and that would be too much. So I'm going to come down maybe a couple and make that a 6. So let's get rid of that old calculation and try 3. And that's 6, and 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9. And I'll subtract. If I end up with a number here, 16 or greater, then I know this number needs to, to go up. Okay, so let's try it and see what happens. And I just made the cutoff. Um, the difference is 14. So here, this number is 6. Even if I saw that I needed to, um, that this was a, a 16 or more, that wouldn't mean this number would need to go up. But anyway, as long as this is a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, this number is going to go up. So the estimated amount is 44 cents. And that's per ounce. Okay, now remember we're looking for the five ounce portion. So, um, five ounces. So we'll take that 44 cents and multiply by five. Now, let me tell you something about standardized tests and multiple choice tests. This answer right here, and even this answer here, the 699, will probably show up as answer choices. And on this particular question, 44 cents is an answer choice, so you have to be sure that you are fully understanding the question and answering what they're asking for. So this is the unit cost here at 44 cents per ounce. And so let's go ahead and multiply this out. 22, and you say, well, is it $220 for 5 ounces? No, that would be crazy. Uh, with this decimal here, there's two places after your decimal, so you come here and you bring that decimal point in two places. So it's two dollars, two dollars and twenty cents for your five ounce portion. Okay. Um, now let's look at the shortcut. Okay. Um, if I were in the grocery store and I'm kind of doing this in my head, well, I'm going to show you on paper so you can see it. You do something enough on paper, then it'll become something that you can do in your head. So again, I want to get to the unit cost. I'm looking here at this $13.98. Okay, this $13.98, um, I'm going to estimate it to be $14. So that's $14 for two pounds. Okay, let's get down to the unit cost, which would divide in 14 by two. So, and this is pounds, not 21. So we're dividing it by two, which makes it seven dollars per pound. Okay. Again, we would still need to know that there are sixteen ounces. 
16 ounces is equivalent to one pound. Okay. Um, and then I look at what are they asking me for. I'm, I'm getting a five ounce portion. Well, five ounces is about a third of 16 because five times three is 15. So it's about a third of it. So the only thing I need to do now is divide smaller numbers in which you can do quickly in your head. Three goes into seven two times. And um, this makes six. You can bring that zero down and you know that and that decimal goes up in three. So it's approximately two dollars and thirty something cents, whatever would show up here at the end for this five ounce portion. Well the answer choices for this particular problem are let's see, forty four cents, eighty seven cents, a dollar and forty cents, and two dollars and twenty cents for the five ounces. Well, this is a very close estimate to that answer choice, which was D, by the way, of $2.20 for the 5-ounce portion. Okay? So that's all you would have to do when you're taking that shortcut. You would take that $13.98, round it up to $14, find the unit price, which is $7 per pound. Um, know that the 16 ounces is equal to a pound, and then... Um, you could divide that five ounces into the 16 and, and work it out, but you'll see that it's a third of it. So then um, take that three and divide it into the $7, which is a third of the per pound cost, and you will come to the $2 and something, some change, okay? So that's how you would have to do for that problem. I'll have another arithmetic reasoning problem that I'll be posting today. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe so that when you log on, you will see any updated videos that I have posted. Thank you and have a great day.